Aaron and Ann, good evening everyone from the state capitol tonight. The House of Representatives has been debating the Jackson Labs bill for about two and a half hours now. Final passage is expected sometime this hour. We can grow jobs. Our families and our communities are depending on us to lead, to think big. That's what we're doing here today. That's why we should pass this bill. An immediate roll call vote has been ordered in the Senate. Will all senators please return to the chamber? The Jackson Labs deal passed the state Senate on a party line vote of 21 to 14. Republican critics were completely shut out by the Democrats, who are in lockstep with the Democratic governor that this deal is too good to pass up and that there are enough safeguards to make sure that if the state foots the bill for building the bioscience research lab on the campus of the Yukon Medical Center in Farmington, that the jobs in the bioscience field will grow and grow. The full contract to give Jackson Labs $300 million has not even been drafted yet. Here's the deal, take it or leave it. When you're investing $300 million with very little ability to claw back, very little ability to keep accountability on that money, it gives us pause. We're following the standard procedure for uh, economic development discussions which are protected under law in the early stages. Uh, the legislature in its wisdom has uh, assigned that. Uh, there was this uh, very, very uh, loud, vociferous, whatever word you want to use, uh, a dispute between the Republicans and the Democrats on the Jackson Labs bill. There was almost no disagreement on the jobs bill portion uh, of this special general assembly session. It has now been given final passage. It passed in both the House and in the Senate, almost unanimous. There was one vote against it in the House and one vote against it in the Senate. It goes on to the governor. And as we say, we expect uh, the House to concur with the Senate on the Jackson Labs bill sometime in, during this hour, uh, as accurately as we can predict timing around here. Live from the state capitol, Mark Davis, News 8.